Hey, this is Zach with Pursue the Passion bringing you another video. And today's video is going to focus on obstacles. Now, I think a lot of us assume that career paths should be linear. The truth is, things almost never occur in the way you think they would. So here's some of the people we interviewed talking about some of the odd jobs they worked, some of the hurdles they overcame to get where they are, and in the end, why it's all just part of the process. I was working for a marketing genius in, in retail and he and I got along really well and I was doing a great job for him. We thought that I was going to buy the store from him and then his uh, son decided to come back and uh, take over the store. So then I was sort of unemployed and listless, you know, yeah. looking for, you know, what's my next move. I went to work for a scrap iron and steel company in upstate New York. Managed that company for almost a dozen years. Uh, I was injured in an industrial accident and uh, in a hospital for two years. And when I got out, went into the gaming business in Atlantic City, joined Steve Wynn and the Golden Nugget. And that was in early 80s. I moved to LA for a while and tried to be a writer. Yeah. Um, I tried to start about maybe 10 companies. I tried to start so many out of a list. I tried to start like a DVD vending machine company, I tried to start an online clothing rental company, a robot company that uh, the robots were connected to the internet. Okay. And they were always downloading a new episode of, a, of a, like a story. So you'd have like many of them. It'd all be different characters and every day that they'd have a new episode to perform together. They're, they're stupid ideas. It was a little, Matt's sort of a harebrained guy. I think most of my, my family and friends were like, what? It, it was like I had a midlife crisis, sort of, yeah. you know, um, at age 22. It was all failure. Pretty much my life is failure, and then, but you only see the, the happy parts. No one ever sees failure. I got an internship at Microsoft my junior year. Normally, anybody who gets an internship, you always get the job. Rejected. Had a job offer at Google pre-IPO. Uh, they rescinded it. Was going to go work at Wells Fargo, and then I applied for a job for women. Dropped a resume at Facebook. Went in there to product management for some months, and then it wasn't, I wasn't good there. I'm not sure what happened there, but I, got, I did get laid off. It's just like things happen and I have a tough time getting over things, but it does and you just got to keep moving forward. For nine months I lived in the middle of nowhere in Burgundy and I did a lot of dishes and I drank a lot of Pinot Noir and I met some interesting chefs who would come and kind of guest teach and then leave. And they found me amusing, so I was a subject of amusement more than an actual cohesive member of a functioning team. But who cares if you're the clown as long as you can dance at the circus? I have a lot of friends who are younger and, and they get very nervous and very anxious and you know I, you can't help but get a little nervous for them as well but at the same time the answer is not to get everything you want right off the bat. Um, you know it's all a learning experience and the great thing about sort of having things work out later as opposed to sooner is you've had time to kind of appreciate what you don't have. 